Hey, I'm Dr. Melissa. This week we have been talking about prioritizing you when it comes to mastering your time. And today specifically we are talking about prioritizing your relationships. Relationships are one of the most important things we have, right? We have our relationship with ourself, our relationship with a spouse or significant other, a relationship with our children, with our parents, with our siblings, with our friends, our extended family, our community. Relationships make up a huge part of who we are. We're seeing people struggle with that so much right now as they're not able to move around and connect with people in the way that they're used to. And prioritizing your relationships is really important. This is not something that you do like once when you prioritize finding a significant other and then it's done, you checked off that box and you move on. This is something we need to be doing all the time, deepening our relationship with ourselves, deepening our relationship with those that are really close to us. Because not only does that create a sense of fulfillment, it increases our sense of love, our sense of joy, and our loving of life being here in this world. When you look back at the last week or the last month, chances are that your relationships just kind of happen. There's not necessarily a prioritizing of where you're gonna make that work. And I'm encouraging you to shift that moving forward, to set some appointments on your calendar that are for you to connect with yourself. That might be meditation. That might be a movie meditation, like taking a walk in nature. That might be time to do some inner work or processing. Deepening your relationships with others might be setting a date night on your calendar to be with your significant other and to just spend time getting to know each other, even if you've been together for 30 years. Deepening your relationships with your kids might be quality time outings, board games. We've been doing Dance Dance Revolution at home, which has been a great way to get some exercise and have some fun together. Whatever it looks like, putting it on your calendar as something that doesn't just like accidentally happen if we're lucky, but something we're prioritizing, we're choosing to put first in our lives. We're, we're choosing to give it high importance, to give it a place on the calendar. And when you do that, it's amazing how things shift whether it's in your relationship with yourself, whether it's in your relationship with someone else or with your community. You know, if, if I had a relationship with someone, a friend say, and we accidentally ran into each other and we chatted for 15 minutes and it was a nice conversation, it wouldn't be as meaningful as if this friend reached out and said, hey Melissa, I've been thinking about you, I really wanna connect. Can we hop on a call for 15 minutes? I'd really like to share some things that are going on with me and hear about how you're doing. It's not that the first one was bad. Those are great for spontaneous, you know, things where you, you accidentally have extra time or you run into someone. But prioritizing those relationships will move them forward at a speed you can't even imagine. If you are interested in talking about things like this and more. I invite you to join our Facebook group, The Abundanteers, a group of amazing people who are creating abundance in all areas of life.